Uh, today we are going to head out on the open road on our FZR, the 1991. This was a 900 hour restoration and also a, a crash repair. All of those are on previous videos, especially doing the repair. After on the initial day riding it after the restoration, we had to, uh, well, we had a little accident. Had to do some body work. That gave us a chance to demonstrate how to repair broken bodywork. Not so sure I want to go back and remember those days, but today is a day worth remembering. And actually every day with this bike. This bike from the day I bought it has been nothing but a ton of fun. And I have had so much fun with it. Even the restoration in the middle of the winter, this, this was a labor of love. Just something about these old FZRs, the power band. And the sound from the cockpit is just fabulous on this bike. the first track day I did with this bike on the very first day I just fell in love with that power band it gets to about 10 10 5 and just goes wild it's really cool and I guess part of the thrill of any bike is not only the visual looking at it and not only the riding, but the sound. The sound is such a big part of enjoying any sport bike ride. And when I modified the bike, took, got rid of the clip-ons when we were done with track days and put on the regular handlebars, a very easy swap, by the way. This made, just made this bike a great all-day motorcycle. And always experimenting with different camera mounts. And one of the few things I really don't care for on the bike is it really does eat tires up, especially back tires. There's no traction control. There's no safety features at all. It's, it, it tends to really wear out the back tire very quick. But as Karen reminds me over and over, if you want to play, you got to pay. And to have a bike this exciting and this much fun to ride, when, I, when I'm done with it, I always think, well, anyway, tires are cheap anyway. And I've had the bike for over 10 years. Thank you, Luciano, for helping me find this. And uh, the day we bought it. We, the poor guy took it for a test ride. It was about four degrees below zero. Uh, we got it back to Luciano's garage, and I was so happy just to get into some warmth and have some coffee. Now, 
when these bikes were available brand new, I really didn't have the money to invest in a new one. I waited a long time to get this one to add to my collection. We finally found it. And it has been nothing but fun. Track days, street days, and now just cruising around our area. I even love the way this bike sounds when it idles. It's every part of it. And I've had it for over 10 years now and every one of them has been a thrill. The, the old days when we first restored it to a red bike, a Ferrari bike, and that long restoration, it took a whole winter, 900 hours, well worth it. And on a day like today, when the weather's perfect and the bike is just humming along, and you whack that throttle wide open and you just feel a, that power band, all these yeah, big Yamahas have that, that big hit at about 10,000, even the R1. And I know anybody that's got one of these big Yamahas knows exactly what I'm talking about. And boy, it, it makes a day like today even more special than it would be. And it's pretty special for me just being out on the open road and enjoying a beautiful day. Anytime I come home from a, uh, a ride on one of the bikes that I've restored and I have the blood, my blood is in the uh, paintwork and everything, I always think all winter I was in this freezing cold garage over here and looking on the internet for parts and polishing things and polishing bolt heads and whatever, hand buffing those rims or whatever. And the minute you go take a ride like a ride like today, you totally forget the pain and agony of the restoration and all you can think of is wow I'm gonna have this bike until the day I die and several of my friends that have these FZRs these old ones they all have the same thing to say you kinda they have a, uh, a mysterious way of captivating you it's easy to fall in love with them they are they are a fun bike to ride and I have enjoyed this one to the max and most of all thank you Luciano for finding us and for helping me over the years with some of the uh, the tricky maintenance but it has been a wonderful ride and I hope we're not anywhere near the end of the line here Thanks so much for watching.